Hi children, welcome to Euclid Learning. So this is the fifth chapter of grade eight. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, please go and watch them. I have separately done videos for grade six, seven, and uh, for grade eight, uh, there are a uh, few videos for the first four chapters. So this is the fifth chapter, uh, which we'll be talking about uh, physical computing. So in this chapter, it starts with uh, logic gates. So uh, there are so many logic gates, but uh, in your syllabus, you have to mainly worry about and, or, and not gates, right? So first we'll start with and gate, right? So here, here they have given you a diagram of a water tank in a house, uh, which will be flowing without overflowing, right? So there are two valves, A and B, with the main supply. Uh, to avoid uh, this overflowing, right? So we'll see how this is going to work. So uh, here, uh, there are, I told you there are two valves. And uh, now, uh, the, if both valves are closed, right, according to this table, the water supply to tank is not there. So tank will not receive any water, right? So if you go back to the diagram, if both valves are closed, right, from the main supply, you won't get any water to the tank. And what about if only A is closed? Will it get water still? No. Still, if A is closed, still uh, tank won't get any water. If we close only B, still uh, tank won't get any water. So when tank will get water? when both A and B valves are open. So that's what in this table they are showing. Close, close. That means both valves are closed, so does not receive water. If either one is open or other one is closed, in that scenario also, the tank will not get any water. But if both uh, valves are open only, the tank will receive water from the main supply. Did you understand? So this uh, close open thing, they have used zeros and one. So one for open and uh, zero for close states, right? So both open means one one scenario. If both are open only, the, the water tank will get water. So do you understand? Here there were two inputs or two conditions. When the both conditions are true only, this output is becoming True. So that's the main feature of the AND gate, right? So in the AND gate, uh, it is uh, denoted by this symbol, right? So normally uh, I will show you O gate as well. So sometimes this AND and O gates are a bit um, confusing, like uh, some students, even I got confused. So how I remember this is, this is like a D, right? This gate is like a D, so AND. And this is the uh, gate. That's how I just remember this. You can have your own way of remembering. I just told what I have followed. So here, A and B, there were two inputs. And when you get the output, it is A into B. Now, if you see this table, 0, 0, if you multiply, what's the result? 0. 1 into 0, again 0. 1 into 0, 0. But if you have 1 and 1 input, then you get the output as 1. So actually, AND gate is uh, showing uh, the, this A into B, that multiplication relationship, right? So AND gate, always remember, both the inputs should be 1, then only output should become one. In all other scenarios, uh, the output will become zero. So that is the end gate. So remember, both inputs should be one. Okay. And then comes the O gate, right? So they have given you another diagram for you. So there is a, a water tank for the house, right? And there's a main supply also, right? So there is a water tank basically to ensure you get uh, uninterrupted water supply. Right, so there are A and B two valves, right? In this scenario, it's a bit different. So from the A valve, you get water directly from the main water supply, but uh, from B, you are getting water from uh, the 
tank only, right? So if we go to the table, when the house is going to receive uh, water, right? So uh, if you think about that scenario, when the, both uh, valves are closed, will house get any water? If you go to the picture, both are closed. No, then you don't get any water. If A is open, yes, then from the main water supply, you get water. If only B is open, yes, then you get from the tank. If both valves are open, yeah, then still you are getting water. So in this scenario, if you think carefully, the house will get water supply in three scenarios. That means either one gate is open or both gates are open. Only the scenario where the both wells are closed at that play scenario, uh, the house is not getting any water. Hope you understood the O operation. So the difference in AND and O in AND gate, uh, both inputs should be one to get a output as one. But in uh, O gate, at least if one is a uh, one uh, input uh, is one, then you will get the output as one, right? So in the table again, they are showing uh, with zeros and ones. So zeros for the uh, closed state and one for the open state. So if at least one uh, open or one <laughs> number one is there, then the results or the output will become one, right? So this is the O gate. Now you can understand the O gate and AND gate are a bit confusing. So I remember the AND is like a D. Okay, so you can follow your own way. So actually uh, O gate uh, is actually addition. Now if you see zero plus zero, zero, binary addition, right? Zero plus one is one, zero plus one is one, 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 again, the output will become one uh, as the uh, binary addition, right? So this is the O table for the table for the O gate, right? To table for the O gate. Hope it's very clear. Then comes the NOT gate, right? So uh, to identify the NOT operation, they have given you some scenario where uh, there is a, a street lamps, right? So these street lamps are switched off during the daytime. That means when the sunlight is there, we don't need street lamps, so they will be switching off. But in the night, these uh, street lamps will be switched on, right? So that means when the sunlight is available, street lamp will be off. When sunlight is unavailable, street lamp is on. So if you see this carefully, if sunlight is one, one means always available on, it's there open, like that is the state we are representing. So sunlight is available, electric lamp or the street lamp is off. When the sunlight is not there, that means zero, the street lamp will be on. So you can see if the input is one, output will become zero. If the input is zero, output will become one. So actually in the not gate, always output will be the opposite of the input. Right. So uh, symbol of the NOT gate is like this. So when you get A as the input, always uh, output will become negation of A. That means not, uh, that, that means uh, negation. The opposite of the A will be get uh, from the output, right? So this is the truth table for the uh, NOT gate. If input is one, output is zero. If input is zero, output will become one. So always remember these logic gates can act uh, separately or can act as a collection of them, right? So here you can see there are two NOT gates, right? So one is given as the input. Here output is zero. This will become the input of this gate. So zero is given to this gate as the input and again output will become one. So there are two NOT gates. So if you have two NOT gates, input and output will be the same, right? And here when input is zero for this particular gate, output will, put will become one and this one 
will become the input for the second gate. And this gate will make it again negation, so zero. So from two not gates, we can get the same input as the output. Okay. We'll go for this gate. So here this is a O gate and this is an not gate, right? So in the O gate, you give one and zero. So O means always addition. One plus zero is one. So output will become one. So in the not gate, always one will become zero. Zero will become one, always the negation of the input. So one is given here. So zero will be the uh, output of this whole circuit. Understood? Okay, so uh, why we are learning about logic gates? You should understand uh, what is this, right? So um, in the CPU and other all the electric uh, electronic devices, uh, computers, the main uh, building blocks is logic gates, right? So the basic functionality of the CPU always uses these logic gates. That's why we are learning logic gates. All the circuits in this world will have logic gates, right? So normally in the computer, we have digital signals. There are two types of signals, digital and analog, right? So digital signals means you have always one, like uh, two values. So uh, here, like at a point on, off, on, off like that, there will be two states. The significance of the digital signal is that it has one value out of two. So always it has one value. So not like analog now. In the digital signals, we have zeros, one, zero, one, like that. A particular two values will be there. But in analog, for example, if you think about temperature, temperature is something analog, right? For example, if your temperature is like 99 Celsius, 99.1, 99.2, 99.3, 99 like that, it is have continuous values not that uh, two states, that is analog. So digital signals are basically used in the digital computers, right? So logic gates always take digital inputs and provide digital outputs. And these inputs and outputs will be showing as binary values. So hope you remember binary. So yeah, that means basically zeros and ones always. Right. So binaries can be usually showed as zeros and one, but sometimes you can show it in different ways like high, low, true, false, right? Uh, five watt, zero watt, like that. So all this uh, representation is basically for the binary numbers, binary values, right? So computer uses and O not gates, right? To pr process the data. And always remember these logic gates uh, get always zeros and ones as input. Not that only one input or two inputs there. There can be multiple inputs for the circuit. And always it will be producing an output, which will be again zero and one. Okay. So that is the summary of this chapter. Uh, it's not a big chapter, but uh, this basic is very important because uh, this chapter, as yes, you learn basic stuff about the gates, but uh, when it comes to all levels and A levels, uh, you will get a scenario. And from the scenario, you have to build up your circuit and your truth tables. So that will be become a bit complex. So understand the basics here. Here we talked about only three logic gates and or not. So and is like the multiplication. So if you give, give A, B operations, it will act like a multiplication, A into B. So that means if you give one, one only, the output will become one. In all other scenarios, output will become zero. Then comes the O gate. O gate acts like addition. So if you give one, zero, zero, one, or one, one, both, three, uh, sorry, all three scenarios, you will get the in output as one. And not gate means always the output will become the negation of the input. That is the end of chapter five, not a very big one. So hope you uh, understand it. So uh, 
if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe and uh, press the bell notification also so you will uh, get a lot of videos when I upload. I'm planning to do the workbook as well uh, as the time permits. So uh, please do comments and if you have any question, please do ask uh, because I'm usually uh, very uh, always trying to interact with you through the channel. Uh, so you, at least you can uh, send me a message uh, to my Facebook page. So uh, please be with my channel. Thank you very much.